So many people are stuck between, not even stuck between, but they're, they're witnessing a fight between their ego and spirit. And they're so afraid to get in between them and break them up and create peace within themselves. So they're just allowing anything to happen. They're allowing their ego to do anything. They're allowing their spirits to do anything. And they're wondering why their life is still in the same situation as now. If you still going through the same problems you was facing in the early 90s or 2000s, like you shouldn't be going through problems from the 60s and 50s and 70s. Like your problems shouldn't relate to somebody else. Like you shouldn't be able to speak to a, a elder person and they be able to pass down that that hurt wisdom to try to relate to your story. Like y'all stories shouldn't even correlate to each other because y'all shouldn't be facing the same issues. If you're still facing those same issues as an elderly person or somebody that you may look up to or that's older than you, you're in a bad position in life. And it's not saying bad as in like in a wicked way. It's saying bad as in like in a way where you're not even you're not even important at this point. Like your life is not even worthy because you're not even developing or growing. And and that's why certain people get valued over others, right? And I used to always try to wonder that, like, why everybody couldn't be valued on the same level. And then I started to see, like, certain people's lives aren't valuable. True, everybody does have value. Everybody is important. But at the same time, some people are just not worthy. Now, you can't expect life to... Or, or the nature of things to treat you beautifully when you're actually in a position where you're not even in position to receive anything beautiful. you actually in a position to, to not receive anything. And then you expect to, to live your life through other people and to see a beautiful side of yourself through other people and live this lie. And then when they show you otherwise, you get into this blaming phase. You get into this accusing phase you want to get into this accusation and 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 make it seem as if others are the ones that's doing wrong because they're not continuing to feed you the lies that you want to see about yourself and then you expect life to give you everything you want and when life doesn't give you what you want then you go on a tantrum then you depress then you then you got all these anxieties like all these false things that you put on yourself and to me, really, that's just, that's that's a spoil you mentality. That, for you to act out in that way and throw fits about you not having what you want, it already shows how incapable and unworthy you are to even have the riches of life. Like, it already shows you that you lack discipline. You lack any type of superiority within yourself. You lack any type of mental stamina. And, and for those reasons, you won't receive anything. And then everybody will... Will go past you and everybody going to get this point in their life when it's going to hit them everybody has to come to a realization and if it take literally 80 to 90 years for you to get it you already wasted your life like you it doesn't matter and i know some people probably think well at least you got it. that's not you shouldn't settle for at least i got it but now it's like i can't use it like how many people that 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 hit 90 years old or 80 years old and they finally realize, like, oh, this is what I was supposed to be. But it's like, now I can't do it because I'm dying of diabetes. I got high blood pressure. I can't even move the way I would want to move. It's like, why would it take you that long to realize that what you actually do could could matter? And not in your life, but in life itself, to the world. Why would it take you that long to actually start taking yourself serious? Because you got this spoil you mentality you feel like you deserve. And I'm trying to figure out why, 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 why do people feel like they deserve things they never had to earn? Like never had to work for because you, you may have came from a family of support. Even if you didn't come from a family, you had some kind of support. But something disabled that mentality. Something made you incapable and made you feel obligated and you felt like privilege to actually receiving what you felt like you needed in life and i i can't figure out why people feel this way so i'm gonna be the first to tell you if, if not the hundred person to tell you 
you're not gonna have what you want out of life. Like you could go through these moments, you could laugh, you could be cute, you could spend the money you want to spend and do whatever you want. But I'm gonna tell you about phases in life. Everything is a phase. Every single thing is a phase. And certain phases are created in life that is like basically like almost time holes. And it's like this. Now you're in this phase, right? You're stuck in this phase. And the purpose of this phase is for you to basically uh, break through this cocoon. Because that's what it is. That's what phases are. Cocoon is just stuck in it. And you thrive in it. You find the energy you need to find in it. And then you become a butterfly. And then you enter a new phase. It might be a bigger, a bigger ball. But some people's phases are like this right now. They're so locked in that they can't even escape it. And they're not even trying to figure out a way. How can I make the best out of this this phase I'm stuck in? They're trying to figure out how can I get out instead of trying to figure out how can I get in? How can I find a deeper parts of this cocoon I'm in? How can I make the best out of it? And if you don't figure that out, and it takes you to get 90 years old. You probably die before then. And you get it while you're dying. Like, oh, I'm dying now. And you're transitioning to whatever form. Probably reincarnate back into another human body. A human soul. To live this life all over again. And then have deja vu about being here. And trying to figure it out again. And then probably die again and not even get it. And then you got to come back again and again. Until you actually figure it out. If it takes you all those lifetimes for you to get it. It's like... You, you're a complete waste of life, period. You're a complete waste of time. And that's just honest. You know, that's just giving you the brutal truth. Like, you're a complete waste of time. Like, if you have a desire inside of you, you have goals inside of you, you have riches inside of you, you have abundance inside of you, you're not, you're not utilizing it, you're a complete waste of time. And life is going to keep moving forward. Like, I wish that, that life keep moving forward upon you and you miss that every single time you just watch all the beautiful things that you could have done happen to other people like that's what i wish on you because there's no way you should be wasting yourself at all right now there's no excuse like you can't tell me you got kids you can't tell me it's your job because that's these are the biggest excuses you can't tell me that it's because you don't have no support these are all excuses and all lies this is a spoil you disabled mentality that's like literally I don't even see autism as like a physical condition. Like to me, autism is a mental condition. I look at autism as the people that's literally like mentally can't get it because they're just stuck and they don't want to get it. So you're going through a phase of just living in a in a in a autistic mindset, right? And this is this is this has had nothing to do with a physical condition because you know? autistic people are beautiful people but you're going through a form of autisticness within yourself that you, you're it's like your mental body it doesn't know right so now you're in this mental wheelchair and you're sitting there trying to figure out what to do and you're waiting for somebody to keep teaspooning and keep feeding you and giving you what you feel like you deserve and you're fine with that and I'm absolutely fine with that I have to honor the fact that people don't want to move forward so this message is for those who actually really want it I, I, I pray that you actually get it if you actually put in the effort every single day to go hard you're not on social media wasting your time trying to put on nonsense or post nonsense that's not going to attract wealth and just going to attract likes this message is for you like you deserve it you deserve all the beautiful riches in life you're actually taking your time out every day to promote and market yourself and to, to sell your skills to sell your passion I, I wish nothing but abundance and prosperity upon your life this message is only for those who want it and for those who don't want it, this doesn't apply to you. Thank you.